What's going on, everybody? It's your boy back with another reaction video. Today, I'll be taking a gander at Morbius official trailer two. This is Morbius, the living vampire from was it was Sony? Sony, right? Yeah. I don't know. I almost say Universal. Like wait. And then it made me think of because I was like, isn't Tyrese in this? And I'm <laughs> thinking about Fast and Furious. I was like, no. This is from uh, Sony. I was debating on whether to look at this or not because whenever I do trailers, they almost always get claimed. And the only company that's good about uh, their claim, but then if I dispute it, they'll release the claim. The only company that's good is Warner Brothers. Like, Sony do every so often. They'll claim it. I dispute it. They'll let it go. Sometimes they say, no, the claim is valid. But Universal and Paramount, every time, no matter claim, if I dispute it, they're like, no, the, the claim is still valid. So that's why I kind of got away from reacting to uh, movie trailers. But I am interested in seeing this. And I saw his face on a thumbnail. I was like, oh, they, because it's been, I, I forgot that I watched the other trailer. Um, I don't know if I did a reaction to that or if I just watched it, but um, I liked how they, they made him ugly. <laughs> like, 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 because the first time I ever heard of or saw Morbius was in the 90s Spider Man TV show when he fought Blade. And I'm um, thinking that, didn't he like turn back into a normal human during the daytime? And a vampire at night. And he sucked. They didn't want any violence on his show. So he had like suckers on his hand. So he, he had to just grab you and suck the blood out in his hand. Even though he still had fangs. <laughs> As a kid, I, thought, I was like, oh, that's interesting. I was like, that's, uh, you know, like, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Like, uh, unique. You know, it's something different. But then I was the, as I got older and I realized, that, oh, it was for, because they didn't want blood in the show. So I'm actually biting anybody. Then that's when I <laughs> didn't even notice that watching the show because as a kid, Spider-Man never punched. Like, I think he threw one punch, but he never really punched anybody, which I thought was funny. People, other people didn't really punch people. They did throw people, but they didn't really punch anybody. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this. Let's see. If this is any good, I've been seeing people, I have seen someone like some comments on some videos. People know they cannot let go that Jared Leto was the Joker and he wasn't, you know, the, the greatest Joker. I didn't mind him in that movie, but I actually didn't mind the, the uh, Suicide Squad movie. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't uh, great, but I mean, it was, it was, you know, in, it was enjoyable. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anything was complete garbage, but uh, and I didn't mind Jared Little Joker for that movie, but uh, I see I seen some comments on some video. Like when I pulled this video, I think I pulled this off of. It might have been IG, or might have been Sony's uh, official YouTube channel, but some of the comments was like they just like they had people surprised that Jared Leto still works because he does it. They didn't like his joke. I was like, sheesh. I'm like, get a better break. But he won an Oscar before he did that. Like, damn. It's like Ben Affleck. Like, I, I think Ben Affleck did a, a, a good job as Batman. It wasn't mind blowing, but he did a fine job. Um, but I remember when he got cast as that, people were like, but he's, but he played Daredevil and he was awful. And I was like, that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> it's like, it's like, whoop. Like, okay, so if you play a, a suit, if you play anything like a superhero character or in a, a comic book or anything, and it's bad, you can you can no longer play a comic book character ever again. Mm -hmm. Like, does that work for like anything else? Like, if you're in an action movie and it's a bad action movie, can you not be in, in any other action movie ever again? 
No more you were drama it was bad. No more dramas with you. It's like, it's like get a dude a chance. Like, shit, I mean the movie could suck. But they, they, they already I, I mean, I guess some people don't like his method acting and like a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that supposedly happened. Um I know they debunked that whole he gave a dead rat to somebody. It was a live rat he gave to uh what is her name? She played Harley Quinn. Margot Robbie, because I saw that she still actually has the rat. Um, it was other things like he gave somebody a, a used condom, but then the, he says that it wasn't used, it was just a condom. But which wouldn't surprise me. Somebody who t- somebody else told that story and they tried to sensationalize it. So who was used? You know. Cause I feel like that's some shit that'd get you like kicked off a set. Or like give somebody you that's a biohazard. <laughs> Especially in California. But uh anyway. I like, just get it I mean, yeah, his method acting aside. I like, just let's see what the guy has. Like he did the Joker. His career over. <laughs> oh but anyway. Here we go. You're a doctor? I am a doctor. I should have died years ago. Or you shouldn't treat yourself. People all over the world have my disease. From here. To find a cure. We have to push the boundaries. Take the risks. You're gonna run. Do it now. But why didn't you say that before you cut yourself? Yes, when you been missing for two months. You desperate. Then you were found on a container ship that washed up off Long Island. Kind of reminds me of a uh, like uh, what was it, Dracula, or Brim Stoker's Dracula when his ship washed up on shore and everybody was dead. I wish I knew. I went from dying to being more alive than ever. It worked. I'm hot now. I have increased strength and speed and some form of bat radar. What else can I do? Ooh, his eyes, that look cool. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's right. He could, he was, he could fly. And uh, I don't know in the comic book, but I know in the cartoon he could he could fly and consume blood. Michael, that's a face only a mother could love. And you control it. I don't know. Half the city wants to kill you. I wonder, is there another vampire that's killing people? Other half wants to control you. Hey, Doctor Mike. Like it, I should stay in touch. Like it's like it's not actually him, it's somebody else doing it. I'd do anything to save a life. Ooh, bullet time. Off. You save lives, you don't take them. Are you here to heal the world? Or to destroy it? They definitely made him ugly. I mean, it's good. I mean, like he looks good. Who the hell are you, man? I am. I know. I'm just kidding. It's Doctor Michael Morbius at your service. I am. We are Venom. Like he gotta have a, a part where he um, takes down muggers, but that looked that looked good. Like colored me intrigued. I mean, I was already looking forward to it because I always did like Morbius, the living vampire. And I remember when I was a kid seeing some uh, 
some comic books, which is funny because I was like, I don't remember if I actually looked at the comic books prior to seeing him on the show. Because my brother has like thousands of He still has all his fucking comic books. He literally thousands of comic books. Like I've seen his, he still has, a, he don't like throwing anything away. He's basically a hoarder uh, in, in some retrospects. But uh, he is, like I used to always read his, like when he go to work, and I would take his take out. I would always take out like probably about like ten comics, and just read them real quick. Uh, well, this ain't here to do it quick because he was gonna be gone for eight hours. But uh, just re- try to read as many comic books as I could. And I remember something with Morbius the Living Vampire. I can't remember exactly because like, it's been so long. Sheesh, that was I feel like a lifetime ago. But. Um, I remember. I can't remember if I, if I read the comic book first or saw it on the show. I remember the show because I've seen I've seen the show and rewatched reruns of the show multiple times. So and I, that was like one of my favorite because uh, it wasn't just one episode. It was like a, was it two or three episodes? I mean, he was in multiple episodes, but I remember the ones where uh, he fought against Blade. And then I remember when he left and he became like, it was, well, ah, damn it, now I'm forgetting, but it was, he was trying to cure himself. I think he made himself worse, if I'm not mistaken. And then he had like wings like on his arm and his, his ears grew and he like, he literally looked like Man Bat from the DC universe. And he like flew off and he was like gone and then he came back and I remember he was dating uh, Felicia Hardy, and I, I want to say when that when she when he first started dating her, and it became Morbius. I mean, he was already Morbius. When he became the Living Vampire. Uh, she wasn't Black Cat yet. That day came after he was gone, and then came back, and she turned into. She became Black Cat, uh, which I liked in that show because it, she was like a. It was like, I can't remember if it was like the exact super soldier formula from uh, Captain America or a, a variant of it. But I remember that's what pretty much she like can transform and get like muscular and then she has super strength and stuff like that, which I thought was interesting. I don't know if they do that in all things well they maybe they could you know comic books like, oh people like this and they'll change the comic book if it's like a tv show or something or a movie they'll change the character to fit that because more people uh saw that movie than read comics so like well if we change it in the comic book maybe those people who like that movie and like the character the way the character just, just the way the character was displayed in that they'll read comics at least that's what they're thinking. But uh, anyway, that was good. That was good. Um, I'm very interested in seeing that. But anyway, let me know what you all think down in the comment section down below. Are you interested in seeing this? Were you looking forward to it? Are you a fan of Morbius the Living Vampire? Are you, you know what, let's do some type of controversy. I get, well, I get controversy, but would you like to see him more? Which I'm probably most people would. Would you like to see him more in the MCU? Because I know that whole story with Blade, like the reason Blade is has all the vampire strength and their weaknesses is because he was bit by Morbius, the living vampire. He was already I mean, he was born a vampire. Well, he was technically not, not born a vampire, but his he had vampire enzymes in him. But Blade, at least back in the day, was a human who was immune to vampire bites. So, I mean, they did the whole thing where his mother was bitten while she was pregnant and all that stuff like that. And he was born, so he was immune to vampire bites. But then, I don't remember exactly when it happened, but I don't know if that happened. It probably happened around when they did the movie, maybe. I don't know, because I read that they changed it in the comic books because the movie was so popular. But I could be wrong. 
But I know that in the comic books, Morbius, he Blade ends up fighting Morbius. Obviously, because Blade is a vampire hunter and Morbius is a vampire. Even though not a traditional vampire, but he's a vampire. Uh, he bites Blade, and because his enzymes, I guess, are unique, Morbius's, and Blade's is are unique because he's immune to vampire bites, or well, traditional vampire bites. It changed Blade, giving him all the strengths of a vampire, like the speed, the dexterity, the uh, uh, strength, the heightened senses. But it also gave him, he also uh, gave him a thirst, so he had to drink blood. Um, but he didn't have any of their weaknesses, like no garlic, no sunlight, uh, steak of the heart. Uh, well, I mean, I guess that would kill him. Like, <laughs> but <laughs> um, I get it. Well, I mean, well, Blade is pretty tough, but I don't, I'm pretty sure, like, if you, he can still get, like, he can still be killed, obviously. He's not invincible. But, uh, yeah, they, I wonder if, would you like to see that? In the MCU, with it, the way they're doing Blade now, or would you like to just have them do like they did with Blade before, where he's just when his mother was bitten, and that transformed him as a baby and made him into the Blade that we remember from Wesley Snipes play, or would you like to be a, more like in the comic books, at least the comic books that I remember. I don't know if they redone it again or anything like that, but at least what I remember. Uh, where he became the blade that we know because Morbius bit him and not uh, Deacon Frost biting his mother. You know? like, would you like that? Or does it doesn't matter. Do you not care? You're just interested in seeing this story because I, I imagine if you see this and don't like it, but like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what they do with that. But uh, it wouldn't it don't really matter to me. If this good, it's good, it's bad. But uh, let me know what you all think down in the comments section down below. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Hit that bell if you want to be notif notified when I upload new videos. Can't talk today. Comment down below. Like I said, share this video. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.